Hello, this is Adam Tuyana, Senior Commodities Broker at RJO Futures in Chicago. Just a quick uh, recap on the markets this afternoon. Gold is up, uh, today is December 12, 2012, by the way. Gold is up $11 right now. Crude oil is down about a buck 50. Grains are pretty much neutral across the board. Corn's down about six cents right now. Beans are neutral. Uh, and wheat is down nine cents. The S&P, which is the real big news, up about five and a half right now after the FOMC came out and announced that they will be buying long-term treasuries, $45 billion per month, uh, lended some pretty good support to the S&P. I was expecting to see some resistance around 1432 or so, but it's uh, now about 1436 and rallying, so I think that we're gonna get a pretty big bump here. Also, technically I'm seeing a head and shoulders reversal pattern to the upside, so I think that has a measuring objective to somewhere around the 1466, 1468 level, so keep a close eye on that. Some reports that are due out tomorrow, PPI, expectations are negative 0.4%, retail sales expectations due out tomorrow 0.4%, and then the unemployment claims uh, expectations 370,000. On the currency side, the dollar is pretty weak today, down 25. The euro is having a very good day today, up about 80 ticks after the news that Greece will pretty much be carried through Q1 of this coming year after the euro bond buyback program for Greece is approved somewhere in the area of 31 billion euros. So uh, that's lending some support to the euro. Uh, the yen is having a very bad day today. Uh, some beliefs out there that uh, Japan is going to be debasing uh, that currency in order to help stabilize the Japanese economy. So I'd look to uh, be pretty bearish. I'm going to be pretty bearish on the yen for quite some time uh, and inversely be bullish on the Japanese equities as well. Uh, cocoa, just something that I'm noticing here. It's a market that's been trading sideways for quite some time, since pretty much September, up about 3% today. Uh, I am also seeing the head and shoulders reversal pattern there to break out of that range, uh, keeping on the 2555 level. If we can break above that, it's got a measuring objective probably to the area of 2750, so pay close attention there. Uh, so some good opportunities in cocoa, uh, some good bearish opportunities in the yen as well. Uh, remember that there is significant risk associated with trading futures and options on futures, and future trading is not for everybody out there. Have a great day.